in the name of God most gracious, most merciful, an open letter, an amicus curiae brief, to all the people who are acting as judges in Scotland. The attached affidavit is presented to the court or courts as an amicus curiae brief in the case P1531-15 and all other cases brought before every court in Scotland. I most strongly recommend that it be taken extremely seriously. Date 26th of June 2016, signed Christ, King of Scotland. Jartruth.net slash B-R-I-T-C-A Short for the British Coat of Arms. Affidavit of Truth from the King of Scotland Statement of Facts My name is Crown Prince Michael, also known as Archangel Michael and the Christ Messiah, and I am older than this world, John 17 verse 5. But the human body that I am inhabiting on this my second coming incarnated into a human inside a new body from the tribe of Joseph Ephraim exactly as prophesied in the Holy Bible is 68 years of age Genesis 49 verse 22 Joseph is a fruitful bough even a fruitful bough by a well whose branches run over the wall Genesis 49.23 The archers have sorely grieved him and shot at him and hated him. Genesis 49.24 But his bow abode in strength and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From there is the shepherd, the cornerstone of Israel. 1 Corinthians 10.4 Daniel 2 verses 34 to 35 and 45 Not from Judah, like the previous incarnation. I am the lawful owner of this entire world, and I own it and everything pertaining to it, including all the human bodies that I created, and the beings' souls locked within them, who are my condemned prisoners on this prison planet all of which is revealed in my book, The Way Home or Face the Fire, which is the survival plan for all human plus beings, available at thewayhomeorfacethefire.net. Please read this book for complete clarification. It's the little book of Revelation 10. The title is self-explanatory. It is the white stone written of in Revelation 2 verse 17. The following quotes from the Holy Bible and Holy Quran are proof of the fact that I own everything. 1. Exodus 9 verse 29 And Moses said unto him, As soon as I am gone out of the city, I will spread abroad my hands unto the I am, and the thunder shall cease, neither shall there be any more hail, that thou mayest know how that the earth is the I am's. 2. Exodus 19 verse 5 Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. 3. Deuteronomy 10 verse 14 Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens is the I am's thy God, the earth also and all that therein is. 4. Joshua 3 verse 11 Behold, the ark of the covenant of the Lord of all the earth passeth over before you into Jordan. 5. Psalm 24 verse 1, a psalm of David. The earth is the I am's, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. 6. Psalm 47 verse 2 
for the I am most high is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. 7. Psalm 50 verse 12 If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine and the fullness thereof. 8. Psalm 89 verse 11 The heavens are thine, the earth also is thine. As for the world and the fullness thereof, thou hast founded them. 9. Haggai 2 verse 8 The silver is mine and the gold is mine, saith the I am, Lord of hosts. 10. Zechariah 14 verse 9 And the I am shall be king over all the earth. In that day there shall be one I am, and his name one, not a trinity. 11. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 26 For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And 1 Corinthians 10 verse 28 But if any man say unto you, This is offered in sacrifice unto idols, eat not for his sake that showed it, and for conscience sake, for the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. 12. Surah 43 verse 61 Oh, Ayat 61 And Christ the Mahdi shall be a sign for the coming of the hour of judgment. Therefore have no doubt about the hour, but follow ye me. This is the straight way. 13. Surah 16, Ayat 52 To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and on the earth, and to him is duty due always. Then will ye fear other than the I am? 14. Surah 20, Ayat 6 To him belongs what is in the heavens and on earth, and all between them and all beneath the soil. 15. Surah 23, verse 88, or Ayat 88. Say, who is it in whose hands is the governance of all things? Who protects all but is not protected by any? Say, if you know. And Surah 23, Ayat 89. They will say, it belongs to I am. Say, then how are you deluded? 16. Surah 42, Ayat 4, verse 4. To him belongs all that is in the heavens and on the earth, and he is most high, most great. 17. Surah 42, Ayat, or verse 53. The way of the I am, to whom belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on earth, behold how all affairs tend towards I am. The scripture is from the King of Kings Bible, available at jartruth.net forward slash k of k hyphen free forward slash Bible. I have given Indy Camp campers my permission to occupy my land and buildings where they are encamped and to film wherever they like until such time as my law has been re-established and implemented in my kingdom of Scotland. I have not given permission for the formation of any political party because they are prohibited in the law, nor have I given permission for them to use my property. Deuteronomy 5 verse 32 Ye shall observe to do therefore as the I am your God hath commanded you. Ye shall not turn aside to the right hand, conservatives, or to the left, labour, SNP, communist, etc. Deuteronomy 5 verse 33 Ye shall walk in all the ways which the I am your God hath commanded you, that ye may live, and that it may be well with you, and that ye may prolong your days in the land which ye shall possess. Matthew 12 verse 25 
And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. The people who have the audacity to call themselves lords and thus falsely claim my title and allow others to blasphemously call them Lord in direct contravention of my instructions in the book of Judges, the book of Isaiah and the Gospel of Matthew are not lords nor judges, but are frauds and have no authority to judge anyone or decide any matter. Judges 2 verse 11 and the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the I Am, and served lords. Judges 2 verse 12 And they forsook the I Am God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt, and followed other gods, of the gods of the people that were round about them, and bowed themselves unto them, and provoked the I Am to anger. Judges 8 verse 33 And it came to pass, as soon as Gideon was dead, that the children of Israel turned again, and went a whoring after lords, and agreed to make lords their gods. Judges 8 verse 34 And the children of Israel remembered not the I am their God, who had delivered them out of the hands of all their enemies on every side. Judges 10 verse 6 And the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the I Am, and served lords, and Ashtaroth, and the gods of Syria, and the gods of Zidon, and the gods of Moab, and the gods of the children of Ammon, and the gods of the Philistines, and forsook the I Am, and served not him. Judges 10 verse 10 and the children of Israel cried unto the I Am, saying, We have sinned against thee, both because we have forsaken our God, and also served lords. Isaiah 42 verse 8 I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory I will not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Isaiah 2 verse 11 the lofty looks of man shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down, and the I am alone shall be exalted in that day. Isaiah 2 verse 12 For the day of the I am, Lord of hosts, shall be upon every one that is proud and lofty, and upon every one that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. Isaiah 5 verse 24 Therefore as the fire devoureth the stubble, and the flame consumeth the chaff, so their root shall be as rottenness, and their blossom shall go up as dust, because they have cast away the law of the I Am Lord of hosts, and despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. Matthew 23 verse 12 and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. The people who call themselves judges are doing so fraudulently for the following factual reasons. 1. They have sworn to serve a criminal who falsely claims to be a queen, as proven in my challenge document and the exhibits that are downloadable from the internet at j4justice.net that's j-f-o-r-justice.net which features the links prominently at the top of the page and thus like her have committed and are committing fraud and fraud vitiates everything. Therefore their judges' oaths are ultra-virus and null and void, and they are fraudulently impersonating judges. 2. In swearing to serve this criminal usurper of my throne, 
they have broken the first great commandment to serve only God and ludicrously and foolishly ask God to help them to break his own first commandment, thus also nullifying their judges' oath. Mark chapter 12 verses 29 to 30. 3. They are breaking the law by impersonating judges and administering fraudulent legislation that is prohibited by the law. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 2 and chapter 12 verse 32. And making and administering false judgments and sentences in contravention of the law. 4. They are refusing to administer the law judgments and sentences that are commanded by the law, of which the refusal to do so is a capital offence carrying the death penalty, under the law that the monarch swears to maintain to the utmost of their power in the coronation oath. Deuteronomy 17 verse 10 And thou shalt do according to the sentence which they of that place which the I am shall choose shall show thee, and thou shalt observe to do according to all that they inform thee. Deuteronomy 17 verse 11 According to the sentence of the law which they shall teach thee, and according to the judgment which they shall tell thee, thou shalt do, thou shalt not decline to do the sentence which they shall show thee, and turn not away from it to the right hand nor to the left. Deuteronomy 17 verse 12 And the man that will do presumptuously, and will not hearken unto the priest that standeth to minister there before the I am thy God, or unto the judge, even that man shall die, and thus thou shalt put away the evil from Israel. Deuteronomy 17 verse 13 And all the people shall hear and fear and do no more presumptuously in thinking they are a law unto themselves. 5. The pretended judges and their fraudulent queen are therefore guilty of capital crimes and under the law should all be executed. 6. No lawbreaker can be a law enforcer. Therefore they are neither lords nor judges, but are criminals, impersonating judges, and have no authority or jurisdiction to order anyone to do anything, and have no authority to give any order to have Indicamp removed, whilst Indicampers have my permission to use my land and property for the purpose I have expressed Herein. The people who falsely claim to be judges, and everyone who refuses to repent, kneel, and swear allegiance to and to obey my Father, God the ruler of the universe, and me, his eldest son, their rightful king, and keep our law, will spend eternity in the lake of fire and brimstone, regretting their refusal to do so. I therefore strongly advise you to humble yourselves, repent, swear allegiance to my Father and me, and serve us, and help us to reinstate the perfect royal law of liberty, for the good of everyone. If you want me to give my authority to remove Indicamp from my land, you must first swear as outlined above, and to re-establish and administer only my law. Isaiah 42 verse 21 The I am is well pleased for his righteousness sake. He will magnify the law and make it honourable. Deuteronomy 33 verse 21 Now read and digest Psalm 2 verses 10 to 12 and pay heed to it and obey it. King of Kings Bible, Psalm 2, verses 10 to 12. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the I am with fear and rejoice with trembling. 
Kiss my son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled just a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. I do solemnly swear and affirm before my Father, Almighty God, that the foregoing is the truth, so help me, Father God, your eldest son and heir. Date 26th of June 2016 Signed, Christ, King of Scotland Jartruth.net slash Britka.htm That's Jartruth.net slash B-R-I-T-C-A dot H-T-M Thus saith the Lord I am Remove the diadem, sovereignty, and take off the crown This shall not be the same Exalt him that is low, the line of Zara, and abase him that is high, the line of forest. Ezekiel 21 verse 26 No one harms me with impunity. Please study jartruth.net